discussion uh, of this conference. So see you within uh, 55 minutes. recorder um, so um, um, before to discuss basically the outcomings of uh, today um, I would first um, recapitulate um, our current understanding of the courses that will be offered in the coming academic year um, as part of our uh, work package um, here you see the list that I have uh, compiled right now. Um, so there are a couple of courses of us. There is uh, uh, two courses of, uh, of Innsbruck right now in the pipeline. Um, we're still, um, let's say, um, talking with uh, our own uh, legal faculty to see what kind of courses they can offer. Um, there is uh, a course on virtual work um, a course on uh, research and uh, methods in the social sciences from UPOL. And um, well, we are still waiting for, for contributions from, from Duisburg, Essen, and, and Iceland, basically. Um, so it would be nice if, if we could also get a couple of courses from them, then we have um, at least a nice portfolio to start with. So this is for the short term. Um, well, the long term uh, is to, to construct at least an, an outline for a two years two year res research master in the field of uh, digital society and global citizenship, and um, and not, not only to draft the curriculum but also to um, to investigate and to find out um, which which persons which institutes but at the end of the day which persons can contribute to this. Um, uh, to, to, to this master and um, one of the things we are, we are pretty convinced of and, and also that was confirmed by uh, a few speakers uh, these two days is that the core of this uh, research master should consist of um, um, genetic oriented uh, courses um, and I made or I compiled a list of these courses which, which I can um, share with you later on this is by no means a, a final list, but just what I uh, learned from these uh, two days. Um, yeah, for example, you, you could imagine a course uh, about digital democracy, um, where let's say from political sciences, uh, there is a contribution, uh, there is from computer science, a, a contribution, for instance, how to do secure online voting. Um, from proto sciences, uh, can, there can be a contribution. And, and this is typically what we would like to have a theme that cross multiple disciplinary, disciplinary disciplinaries, but even more than that, actually, um, simply a, a societal uh, founded uh, a theme um, that requires in depth understanding um, and, and analysis by, by different disciplines. So that's what we're looking for. Um, another example, which, which I found very nice actually today, was crisis management. Um, uh, uh, which is also a very good example. Um, you need their uh, knowledge from the social sciences. Social sciences is it's about um, uh, pandemics, um, perhaps also even from people uh, from healthcare, but also uh, people from social networks, from um, uh, how these social networks can be built in a resilient way and so on. Um, so uh, one of the fast tasks uh, I see for us the coming a uh, few months is to um, find those teams, um, um, at, at least to make a, a, a tentative uh, shortlist of those teams, um, and then try to uh, find out uh, who of you can contribute to those of those teams. What, what I have in mind is that we um, try to develop a, a curriculum with, with these themes as a um, uh, uh, central component. And that probably um, uh, some of us, um, or at least uh, more than one person, also more than un university, can contribute to, su to such a thematic course. Um, and what we will do is um, that um, we can have a discussion right now about these themes. I will share what I have written down myself, and I'm really looking forward to your reactions in, in that sense. Um, um, 
so um, to, to, to find out what these teams actually are and, and, and then what we want to do is to have um, direct conversations with, with each of you um, bilateral calls to find out um, how you think about it and, and what you can contribute to these uh, thematic courses. Um, so um, what uh, have I written down uh, for these uh, thematic courses? That's the following. Um, but this is just an idea. I, I, I love to hear your reactions. Um, one, you could uh, think of one course about, let's say, better use of global resources. And then topic like uh, the energy transition comes into mind, circular economies. Um, we had also talk about uh, space and uh, waste in space and who decides about that or can approve that or disapprove that from the legal department um, and, and what you see by the way is that these teams pretty much correlate to the uh, sustainable development goals of the united nations not all of them of course but a few um, another topic with which uh, pops into mind is better spread of wealth um, ICT for development as we do it could be part of it but um, I tend to see it a little bit broader because um, also here in Amsterdam we should have a better spread of wealth, for example. Um, but uh, in many places uh, in Europe, actually, I think um, one other topic could be a digital democracy with, with all things that come with that. Eh? So secure voting, but also uh, uh, the, the social uh, effects of that and um, let's say uh, the politics uh, associated with that. Um, I think privacy and information sharing is a topic which can be considered at, at least from the legal and from the from the IT perspective, but also other perspectives. Uh, culture, her heritage, and history is something that is a topic. I think crisis management already mentioned, and um, I wrote down toward new economies, uh, for example, ecosystems and, and platforms and uh, that you could also approach from a technical perspective, um, but also much more from a business and societal perspective. Um, I wrote down one last topic, which is uh, everything related to health. That's a bit broad, I, I know that, but I wrote it down because I think we didn't have talks about health these two days. Uh, and still it is, I think, an important societal topic to, to consider. And, also potentially interesting for this uh, for this master. I'm not saying that we should do it, but if we want to do it, we probably have to invite others to uh, to co contribute here. Uh, this is my list, and um, I am happy to erase the full slide again, <laughs> if you like. <laughs> but please tell me how to do so. Do you think that these are different? Well, well, my uh, I think you could pick, pick should pick up the microphone, uh, Anna. Okay, yeah, but um, yeah, so the question of Anna is if it are different tracks. Well, I think um, well, my understanding right now was that we have these uh, thematic oriented courses. Well, these were were seven or eight teams, something like that. Um, and typically these thematic courses would in a two year master uh, comprise uh, 60 credit points so one year and if you have uh, six or, or or seven of these uh, thematic courses you you typically end up with a a single course of uh, eight nine ten uh, credit points something like that um so i i i, I like to think it in, in terms of courses that students can do that they have to do an exam in or whatever type of uh, examination you want to do. Uh, so these are kind of six six ECTS courses, each of them, or something. Yeah, I, uh, it, it can. The size we have to, I think, we have to to talk about, um, because perhaps six credit points is a, a good size, uh, um, because also I think there are a couple of auxiliary courses that that we need anyway, like research methods uh, in 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 this multidisciplinary field, and perhaps a few others. Right, so I, th I think six, seven credit points is what you have to think of, is my feeling. Yeah. You want to say something? Uh... I try. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, are you better? You... Yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to, um, uh, to the point. Um, 
the uh, subjects you mentioned could be part of an uh, optional um, um, offer that uh, students choose a certain number of uh, subjects they are interested in. And I'm still missing something like theory, methodology, um, um, practices. I would, uh, from the cultural studies point of view, I would, um, I would suggest, and um, something like data criticism. So uh, basically, let me try to rephrase it. So, uh, do you mean research methodologies? Is that, is that what you? Uh, yes, but not only empirical. Um, yeah, sure. The, in the category of, let's say, general courses. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, of, so, uh, yeah. Apart from the thematic uh, courses, where you have a choice of what that, what is the theme, uh, there will be uh, auxiliary courses, and uh, you will see that, uh, you do see that as well in uh, what Sally was uh, telling about the uh, uh, program structure. So, the course like research methods, or uh, there, of course, uh, what is research and how you design uh, it. I think that these are the general courses. Yeah. But the point you raise on the culture is more a thematic thing. Mm -hmm. Sally is actually yeah. a digital process uh, professor, so that might, you might consider that a theme within that. Yeah. Um, design have the same yeah, yeah, yeah. And for the um, number of credit points, we already had this point yesterday that we can leave it up to uh, to the administration. <laughs> or I don't know. Um, uh, in Innsbruck, we prefer these uh, five point steps. So six points would be already not so ideal. Would be hard to accommodate. Yeah. Yeah, but here this is a, uh, a point from the beginning. If you look at the different universities, and we have done so, they all have a different system, both in terms of schedule and both in terms of the rules of the science code course. Um, so, to give an example, GU is standardized on six ECTs, nothing different. So, different in the old days, then we had one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten courses. Uh, you see at Sally that it varies. Uh, I know from Copenhagen Business School, they have a rigid scheme of seven and a half points because then you fit, you have, uh, so you have a schedule of quarters and then 15 points per quarter. That's uh, the way you do it. I also know quite a lot of uh, universities that have 10 points. Yeah, well, at least uh, within the free university I already discussed this. Um, and, and we have a, a rather rigid structure of these six credit points per course. Um, on the other hand, um, there are also exceptions to the rules. Yeah. And specifically, uh, those exceptions happen if you have a joint or multiple um, uh, program with, with, with other universities. And, and, and this is not the only program that is with, with we have other programs that in other fields, of course, but but have similar structures, and then it's quite simple. Then you have to adopt somehow to each other. The, it, it's um, let's say we have to find out how to do that. Um, but um, in Aurora, lots of money is spent on uh, finding out how to do this. And to put it uh, to, to put it a bit impolite um so uh, yes i i think we need to take a decision about it and, and at, at least um assume something about it um on the other hand it's it's very doubtful if it's our task uh, to uh, to arrange all this stuff formally um i, I think we are here for the content not for the formalities <laughs> Um, so, so uh, long story short, I, I think that in, in the context of a pilot, for example, um, at, at least from the university perspective of, of, of us or in Amsterdam, a lot is possible. 
right? So if it's five cadet points, um, we can arrange that it is five cadet points. Um, but um, uh, most likely, this will be an initiative between more than two universities. And I, I don't know that this is work Essen, but perhaps they have ten, right? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, are there any other re reactions on this um, these topics that I have listed? Yeah, I think these auxiliary courses uh, that will flow naturally uh, because that is something everyone is doing in, in the mail. So it's, uh, I think it's the, the interesting design question is what is your selection of tools um, without the pretense that you have full coverage all important themes, but you must have a good judicious choice where you are as experts, uh, where you can do interesting uh, things, but it must still be balanced in some way. So I do agree, for example, this notion of culture should social media and culture and digital culture is something Not only bloggers and bloggers and people making YouTube uh, game stuff. So that even within that, there is always a few jobs. And I think it's important. Yes, uh, yeah, I do. But I do think that the notion like culture should not be absent. What about competence in digital methods? I always find it helpful um, when, when we talk about societal consequences and opportunities um, and caveat and so on of visualization. Um, if, if people have a minimal understanding of how these techniques actually work, then it makes it much more concrete, much more tangible, and people understand much better. Um, that's like part of the homo homogenization. <laughs> Um, courses that uh, are part of the first um, semester. Um, yeah, so presumably from computer science coming in who don't need those courses, but then many others would need a little introduction to programming just to get a feel yeah. of how that works. So, the, so what we have to expect is that people come from everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, they have no commonality. Uh, <coughs> so down to the that's why you need a certain phase of uh, what they are called homologation. And I think, of course, you need to know something about making a program app or a, a mobile app or right. what have you. What kind of data, what kind of and, uh, data for science is to inform the data analytics. Uh, so, this is basic methodology kind of uh, stuff and skills. And, uh, those kind of things would fit naturally into a kind of basics. Uh, Program. But that's it's not necessarily only digital or methodological. That might be But let's say the way, way I see it is that um, clearly that there is a need for a, a, a very good um, transdisciplinary or multidisciplinary research method course. Um, which will be, I think, quite a challenge to develop because um, well, all, all the disciplines should should. But we have a volunteer. Who? The network institute. We had a discussion with uh, Ivano, uh, who was the new curator. Um, so this network institute already exists for a long time, and uh, so they were suggesting to offer a course on interdisciplinary research methodologies from different uh, people, different people from different faculties in the network institute. Yeah, but okay, so that could be a good source and also perhaps uh, people who want to do some work, really. Um, but, but nevertheless, my feeling is that because uh, there are here groups represented from from other disciplines then yeah. so, eh? you could do similar things, so 
I really would see that as a, as a joint effort of, of all the universities that participate because it's very important that, um, well, everyone's discipline is properly reflected and related to the other ones. Um, but okay, uh, so I, I think that will be quite a challenge to develop that course actually. But but once it's there or once we know what to do there um, and we have the, the, the thematic uh, topics identified and perhaps broken down to, to universities and even people, um, then we more or less know what to do. And, and so I, I want to see this homologation packages in, in, in the first half year more as a problem that can be solved by just looking what the core will be, which are these uh, thematic co courses, and then derive from that what should be in these homologation packages. Um, and um, perhaps also um, there are more monodisciplinary oriented courses already available with universities that can be um, used for that to, uh, uh, to offer and to solve the uh, homologation problem. Um, so, so my preference would be um, to focus really on those teams right now. To, um, so what I will do is that afterwards I will distribute these uh, few slides so that everyone who is not in the call can also react. Um, and um, then what we like to do is to discuss um, these themes um, or, or the relevant teams um, with the with you individually. Um, we have now a much better understanding understanding what the specific interests are and I think we have also a bit much better understanding with who we have to talk uh, if you want to add stuff please do so so that, that helps um, but we will invite you the coming months uh, to, to talk uh, via zoom uh, um, with, with smaller groups at least about this and, and then see if we can draft a, a coherent picture about that um, and, and, but that's my plan. I don't know if you think that's. Yeah, so I think at this stage, a number of bilateral talks uh, would be best to find out uh, where people want to go and where not, and what they want to contribute and what not. And then uh, you might even come to Innsbruck at the end of the winter season because then you have cheap <laughs> flights. Directory, Yeah, go ahead, please. Still, uh, I have one point I don't understand. Uh, do you explain? or think of courses developed especially for Aurora or do you um, think about using uh, courses that anyway exist and uh, will be teached at each university? Yeah, my, my feeling is both. Um, so let's say what I hope for at least is is that for these homologation packages we can use already existing courses that are there um, and, and that we should distribute the load more or less evenly um, but um, if, if there is let's say a homologation course needed for machine learning um, it's it's very um, let's say uh, logical to expect that that will be done by one of the computer science uh, departments in, in, in the, whereas it is about social networks, for example, I can imagine that this is a social faculty who will do that. These are just examples, right? But I think these homologation packages can be approached, hopefully, with courses that already exist within universities. Um, so um, my impression and also feeling is that it is more about these thematic oriented courses um, and that I consider as well in many cases new courses to be developed and, and there are several reasons for that first of all you want to 
have done very research intensive, based on real research you can do at home, but this is not standardized. Um, you must cater for students that come from very different uh, directions. And, uh, um, so the same course for computer science students is different from the same course that basically people that have no strong background in technology, in social science, you know, and so, on. so uh, I think that core package of the courses will be newly developed or heavily adapted. And I agree all that we already have that experience on our data has to be to be a field course. And that was broader than what we have done a few years ago, which was more computer science people oriented. And now it was other universities as well as people with different backgrounds. And that was a heavy, pretty heavy redesign as we call it that we do now. So it can be existing courses, but then you have to redesign them. I, I totally agree that it's most interesting to design uh, new courses, especially for this. I'm completely on the side. On the other hand, I see as uh, at the moment I'm uh, dean of studies um, at our faculty, and I see administrative questions like um, payment for extra courses for the people who teach these courses and. Are they ready to to teach more than they are uh, than they must via by their contract? And yeah, that's a question of the mm -hmm. yeah. So not everyone will, yeah. will want to do this. It's 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 exactly the same here. Um, I I think we have similar issues hanging around, and 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 there are always people who don't want to do that. That's a fact of life, I would say. And, and there are people who are interested in it. Um, so, so here at our university, we experience a very high teaching load because we have a, a very high influx of students, first year students. So this causes all kinds of capacity problems that uh, are difficult to solve. Um, so I, I very much see the issue that you mentioned. Um, what, what I think with these thematic courses is that um, we should not opt for a situation where um, one university is responsible for such a thematic course um, because um, first of all in terms of workload so it, it, it's better to spread it over um, multiple people that, that are interested multiple persons that are interested and second of all um, you will never get this multidisciplinary perspective uh, um, if you assign it to one university uh, so, so there are two very good reasons to, to spread the workload and, and that's how I hope at least how we can solve that. And it's not a formal resource exercise I would say uh, we must select people with the themes are close to our heart. No, but 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 but, but I, I very much understand the problem because because people let's say it, 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 teachers will say okay I now contribute to this multidisciplinary master uh, that counts as a course for me and that means that I don't have to another course in the in the standard curriculum that's certainly what will happen yeah. something I can't I can't write right. applications for funding I can't uh, write publications sure. in the time I yeah, am dedicated to this and for yeah. the rectorate it's always for the university it's always these numbers that count it's not if you are dedicated to the interdisciplinary work. But they have an obligation to be in the Aurora project to do something. Yeah, but, but I, I, I see it slightly different because um, um, the other side of, of, of the story is that we can really create something very interesting here at, at the European level. Yeah, so if, if we can combine the strength of all these universities in these different topics, we can build something really interesting here, um, which, and, and that's my personal motivation to do these types of, 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 of um, projects that might result in um, PhD candidates that are very difficult to attract, at, at, at least here in the Netherlands. Um, and also, um, um, let's say uh, PhD candidates that have some what more in, in depth knowledge of a broader area. Um, so I, I see it 
that's why I personally would like to have a, a research master uh, to, to have a, a good pool of international um, PhD candidates. That's that's for us very important to have. Um, and once there is, let's say, an ongoing cooperation between people, um, persons that have to, to do uh, teach a particular course, a particular theme, it's also more easy to write research proposals together. Um, so I, I see a lot uh, positive things over there. You should get these things uh, out of the people, of course. Um, but we see those similar things happen with the network institute that we have. And we write now research proposals with social sciences and so on that we could never have uh, written on ourselves, right? And that's for me personally what I want to get out of this. And I, I fully admit that there are people who are not interested. We, we have here at the department uh, people who are very, very monodisciplinary computer scientists um, who want to do uh, one thing, uh, namely hacking computers or uh, writing operating systems or uh, writing the most efficient uh, queries or uh, when we have fill in everything that you can think of. Those people will not cooperate and they will, uh, and, 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 and what we see also with this network institute that we have, they don't do any multidisciplinary stuff over there too. So that's a pool where we obviously cannot uh, benefit from. But there are so many other people who are interested, at, at least here. Yeah. But I fully take your point. Uh, I see the problem. And also, I'm talking here with education directors, and I know their concerns. <laughs> yeah. um, right. So are there any other remarks? from anyone here locally or connected via Zoom? I think uh, the pool is in the place. Um, if we can reach all the kind of pool list of interesting teams, we are, um, we have numbers, we have devices that order part of them, it's good enough. Then we try to look for people that want to take responsibility to do something about or redesign the course around it. The good thing is that either you find those people or you don't. I think that should be experimental. That's also how I built up the network institute. Because we have the same uh, first issue that people don't want to come from the police. So you must find mechanisms that they at least know that other people exist. Then the second point is, okay, then you would like that they would do some work, in that case research, and now it's education oriented. Um, then uh, you find out who is willing to do that. And there are people that simply do not want to do it in this very work. And there are people that are interested but are too busy. Uh, and there are people that are interested but are too busy. But still, uh, that experience was that uh, were still quite enough people that uh, wanted to join. So you don't need everyone. You just need the people to have this, this uh, thematic uh, courses properly done. And you find them or you, and I think that's uh, apart from the pilot courses, I think uh, in the project uh, sense, that is the task for the next few months. And it might be that certain themes are interesting, but you find no one and other themes, uh, you do find people. So that will be, uh, there you have to be a bit uh, flexible. Okay, I think, um, we are and, um, maybe it's good to do some research visits to different universities and have talks on this. And... Yeah, I think that's our plan. Um, I feel a closing coming on, <laughs> and in particular the weekend. 
Um, so I would like to thank you very much for your participation in these uh, two days. Um, I can speak, I think, for Anna and Hans that at least we have learned a lot um, about your specific interests, where you're coming from, uh, and so on. That's very important for us to understand, to continue with the rest. Um, as said, we will contact you soon to, to discuss about a follow-up, but our plan is to do that in, in let's say, smaller meetings to have a, a more direct uh, conversation. So I hope you will make some time for that. Um, and I think that's it for me. And not only we, also the master students. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And uh, we'll look forward to see you uh, soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.